Yo, what's good guys? This is uh, part 20. Uh, welcome back to Introduction to C++ here on sololearn.com. Everyone can code. Uh, today we're on variable naming rules. So let's go ahead and get started with this. So, variable naming rules. Uh, use the following rules when naming variables. All variable names must begin with a letter of the alphabet or an underscore. Uh, so a lot of this guys is just memorizing. Not much I can do for you, but just let's go over it anyways. After the initial letter, uh, variable names can contain additional letters as well as numbers. Blank spaces or special characters are not allowed, however, in variable names, unless you know you were to encode it. Um, there are two known naming conventions. Pascal case, which is uh, defined as the first, first letter in the identifier and the first letter of each subsequent concatenated word are capitalized. So you can sort of see this, this uh, you know, sort of... Uh, mixture going on right there. First is capitalized, um, and the next is it's like a um, title case. Uh, and then we have camel case, where the first letter of an identifier is lowercase, and after that, after that, each next word is capitalized. So this is like a camel. It's a hump. It goes up, down, up, down, you know, etc. But it initially starts out with lowercase. So what, uh, which is the correct rule for naming a variable? Okay. Um, so the big one right here is, let me see, can I define, can I select two? No. Which is a correct rule. Okay. okay. Um, so I think it's, uh, I think it's this one. You can't start with a number. Yeah. Uh, so case sensitivity. C++ is case sensitive, which means that an identifier written in uppercase is not equivalent to another one with the same name in lowercase. Makes sense. For example, my variable is not the same as my variable, all uppercase, and it's not the same as my variable, uppercase, lowercase, uppercase. These are three different variables. Choose variable names that suggest the usage, for example, first name and last name. So it's sort of that camel case approach. So which of the following are legal variable names in C++? Okay, so let's go after these. This is legal right here, and this is legal. However, these special characters are not legal. Cool. And the number, of course. And finally, variable naming rules. C++ keywords, reserved words, cannot be used as variable names. What this means is that uh, variables like int, float, double, you know, console output cannot be used as a variable name. There's no real limit on the length of the variable name, uh, but try to keep your variable names practical and meaningful, right? So uh, a, a, a pretty popular quote that I learned about earlier this year in, in computer science is, uh, it says something like, you know, there's only two hard things in, uh, in software engineering or in, or in, uh, or in uh, software development. Uh, and those two things are you know, validating the cache and uh, naming things. So obviously validating the cache doesn't really apply to what we're doing here, but naming things is, is pretty relevant. I think that was it's pretty, pretty uh, spot on. It's, it can be really tough to name things. Okay, so uh, finally fill in the blanks to declare an int variable named var3. Okay, so say int var3, a double variable named salary, double salary, and a bool variable named ab underscore c14. Awesome. All right, guys, so that was it for part 20 here on Solo Learn Introduction to C. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to like, comment, and please subscribe and support the channel. It means a lot. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Take care.